Hey guys, it's me Kimberly. This week we're doing Cam's home and they live in Brampton. We've added something new to the end of our segments. It's called Let Me Tell You What I Really Think. And it's just a little time to get to know me better. You can ask me absolutely anything. You can leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to your questions. Our design program works like this, guys. We send a qualified designer out to her home to measure one room at a time. We do all the elevations and the floor plan so that we have perfect, accurate measurements. A week later, you come back to the showroom, we walk the showroom, we test all the furniture, we see what you love, and then and see what your aesthetics are. And that's why we give you the what do you love questionnaire. It's a design personality test that just sort of takes you through a whole bunch of furniture and room layouts. Maybe you love everything on that page, maybe you like nothing, but this is a good way for us to understand who you are and for you to understand what you really love, like, want to be surrounded with. It's not the be all and the end all. Clearly when you get back to the showroom, you may change your mind. You may see something on Instagram that's gonna motivate you and inspire you and that's cool. But this complete personality test usually does the trick for me in 98%, I know who you are. And that's what I want. I wanna make you happy. Uh, we are pulling for Cam Rai's family room tomorrow. So let's start with their rug. It looks like they're doing an NLD rug, a Norland rug with the blue and the browns. Perfect, and it's a nice polypropylene rug, so yeah. perfect for a family room because it's a very, very durable rug. Nice. Um, uh, for their else? Colorado, their, their sofa, they are doing the Mendez 61 uh, fabric. Hey, a nice light gray. The most popular ones. Yeah, and this is also an Ulta fabric, which is great. Completely yes. durable. Um, it looks like she had picked Limville 62, which is like a velvet, Fabric. Dark gray velvet. Yep, with a lot of texture, texture in it. Beautiful. Um, um, they did a chrome rod or a brushed steel rod, and uh, along with the brushed steel rod, they did the chrome finial and the Sierra panel. It's beautiful, so let's keep that. So I'm just gonna create little pleats here, and okay. Cool. Uh, she said that she wanted chrome finishes. Okay. Um, she doesn't mind some black as well, mm -hmm. but she'd like to stick them in the neutral. So maybe we can pull another sure. chrome piece. Okay, let's throw in this piece in here. Yes, lots. This has a nice texture to it. This also has a little bit of print, so we're not going to go crazy here. Just a little bit in the box. Okay. And, and that would be all. That would be all. Okay, perfect. Yeah. The before of this room, it's pretty typical what happens. Someone buys a new home, they hope and they pray. Their new, their old furniture will fit into their new home. Unfortunately, this never happens. Somehow, this usually we go from a smaller home to a bigger home. And even if you bought the furniture a couple years ago, quite often we are not lucky enough for it to work. And this is exactly what happened in this case. The old furniture that they had was dark brown, grayish, dark carpet, light furniture. Looked a bit dated. They wanted something fresh and bright and vibrant. And they also needed a ton of extra seating to have family members come over. As we know, the great room, which is right off the kitchen, that's where everybody wants to hang out because that's where the food are. I don't care what culture you're from, Italians especially, we're all about food and entertaining. So this room needed a ton of seating and that's exactly how we approach this project. So when designing this space, first of all, you take into account the focal point and in this room it was the TV and the fireplace. We want to design a great big huge sectional to accommodate a lot of people. This sectional we make ourselves so we can pick any fabric. In this case we chose an Alta fabric which is a 100,000 rub count, double rub count, and it's commercial grade so easy to clean up spills just with soap and water. We started with a chaise lounge on the right hand side, went along that window and then a nice big huge sectional along that adjacent wall with a great big huge coffee table in the center and then two additional ottomans which are on their way. They didn't make the pictures just yet. They were available the next day, but two additional ottomans that you can move around. You can put your feet up. You can use them for storage. Uh, you can also use them for additional seating. They're very super functional. The coffee table, guys, it is stainless steel, glass on top, mirror on the bottom. 
It's pent polished stainless steel. Let me tell you about stainless steel if you don't already know. Stainless steel is natural, it is mined from the ground, it is polished to look that way. It is not a sprayed on coating like chrome plating. Stainless steel lasts forever, it does not pit. However, because it is natural and is hand polished, you will see slight imperfections. That is an upside of this uh, material. It shows that it is true and it is a real and the longevity is forever. If you have chrome plating or if you've ever had chrome plating, you'll see that it will chip over time. Stainless steel is forever. Nice big huge carpet we used, a 10 by 15, and then that carpet had beige tones, warm gray tones, and a little bit of navy in there, which was absolutely perfect because we wanted to pick up navy in our accessories. Window treatments are everything, and in this case, we placed them in a certain way because there was three windows uh, to, uh, with the larger window having drywall on either side. We placed the window treatments specifically so that we cover the casing on all three windows. It just unifies the room. They're just there to soften up the space. You can close them for sure, but that's not the intention of these window treatments. They are the same coloration, just a little bit of a pattern as the sofa, so it doesn't take your eye away from that at all. And your focal point of the fireplace is still there with two new pieces of art uh, mounted horizontally. These were vertical pieces that we changed around the hooks on and just to let you know that a lot of the art we have here it's hand done and we get the signature done on an angle so you can hang it vertically or horizontally. The choice is up to you. It gives me a lot more uh, ability to change things up. I absolutely love it. Love this artwork. Love this room. This client was super happy. So let me tell you what I really think about buying a new home or renovating your existing home and keeping your old furniture. No bueno. It is not a good idea. It never works. The whole reason you're updating your space or you're moving is because the finishes you want to be different, the size of the room is different. I get that we want to try and save money, but this is not the time to do it. I would rather you guys wait until you find something that you really super love and do that room properly than try and use your old furniture, dated, colors are wrong, you're not 100% happy, and then you try to add on. It's like buying a new dress, but wearing old shoes. Maybe that's not a good analogy, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? You spent all this money, all this time, renovating or moving to a new home let's make sure your space plan makes sense or else it's seriously going to drive me crazy i'm kimberly capone and i truly believe you should live in rooms you love visit our showroom and sign up for your free design consultation and together we'll create the perfect space